So in this final video, I just want to talk about what the purpose of social media really is, right? And, and what I've been thinking about just in terms of how the enemy has used social media over the years to really pull us away from the father and how he's used social media to really um, harm the body of Christ, to really attack the body of Christ. So number one, Satan is not omnipresent, right? He's not everywhere at every time, nor is he omniscient. Right. So he's not all knowing. He doesn't know everything. And no, he cannot read your thoughts. What he can read is what you post online. God's people perish for lack of knowledge, but Satan advances his kingdom through knowledge. The detailed information people are so willingly um, that they just so willingly put on social media platforms. It's astounding, really. Like, I have read some of the most personal things on social media. Things that just feel like cringy for people to type and hit enter and, and let everybody know about. I, I feel like there's no filter anymore. And what people of God don't understand is that the more we type and put on social media, the more Satan knows how to distribute his demonic forces in order to hinder, to steal, kill, and destroy. He needs knowledge in order for his attacks to be effective. And we are providing him the knowledge he needs by constantly posting our business on social media. Number two, it is a time waster that keeps you in your flesh and out of the presence of God. The time we spend looking, lurking, scrolling, liking, and commenting is always time that we can be in prayer, thanking God, seeking God, crying out to God, and waiting on God to speak to us. You know what I realized? Many are frustrated with their current relationships with Christ. Right. You feel like he's withholding information from you. You feel like he's abandoned you. You feel like he's forgotten about you. You feel like, you know, God, what's going on? Why won't you speak? But the truth is he has much to tell you, but you make absolutely no time for him. And if you do make time for him, it's not nearly as much time as you make for social media. Right. When you wake up first thing in the morning. You grab your phone and you go on to social media. I mean, Satan absolutely loves this. He loves when we do this. <laughs> Number three, social media breeds ingratitude. It breeds pride. It breeds jealousy and envy. It breeds depression. It breeds anger, bitterness, and unforgiveness. It breeds division and strife. It breeds lust and perversion. It glorifies ungodliness in every way imaginable. There are far too many demonic implications of social media for followers of Christ to pretend like they can't really see what's going on here. Social media wasn't created for followers of Christ. It was created for children of the enemy, people who are not saved, the children of Belial. And it is used as a distraction for the children of God, for the body of Christ. But it is used as a tool to spread ungodliness from the ungodly. Now, I'm not saying followers of Christ shouldn't be on social media. I am saying that when we join these platforms, it needs to be for the sole purpose of shining the light of Christ and ministering to lost souls that are literally on their way to hell for all eternity. The hour is late. The hour is late. We are living in the end of the age. This is definitely the end times. Christ is on his way. And before we hop online and post another selfie, a vacation or the latest restaurant or your new car or your new house, post something encouraging from the word of God. Lost people need to see more of him and less of us. So let's not use social media to glorify Satan or ourselves. Let's use it for the glory of God. 
that's really all I have. Um, God bless each of you. I am going to be taking a break from YouTube until the 31st. On the 31st, I am going to um, post a just a prayer, you know, ushering us into um, 2023. Um, in between that time, I will be lifting each and every subscriber to this channel in prayer. If there is anything specific that you would like me to pray for, please leave it in the comment section. And it would be my honor to intercede for you as we prepare for this new year. God bless you and God willing, I will see you next time.